Issues 487 here. Welcome back. We must continue. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Whoa. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us? And we She's got some sweet. With you. Some sweet armor. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Wow. I found another memory to try. I killed his family. It's kind of messed up, man. I can jump. <laughs> That's funny. I believe I can jump. I got uh what? Bartender. The bartender. I don't remember much from that time. It all kind of blends well, together. You seem to be getting closer. It's, it's almost always one. a bar, though. That's universal. So, uh, There's always someone who wanted someone else dead. Sometimes just roughed up, but uh, dead was usually what they wanted. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they thought they could cheat me. That was usually only when I first arrived somewhere. <laughs> Didn't matter to me. They just took it as part of the job. A little extra thrown in for free. I always got paid in the end. One way or another. I hear there was always a job for someone like me. Didn't matter what it was. Didn't matter mm. who I was supposed to kill. Yeah. I got pretty good at it. It's kind of neat that you can like actually bypass all these memories if you wanted to. If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. Hmm. You'll do this all by yourself. That's right. We pay you. Job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want? I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly he pauses the memory while you Finished while he talks. That's as I could. Ah, I love this so much. Well, it's like this. There's this man who lives down the creek. Okay. Finish up that memory. And then we get over here. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet us. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really exist. Got a scar. We do, as you can see. First sense weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I'm not that good. But the Institute could always make more. We kept making mm -hmm. better each time. They still give me the creeps, but you have to get used to them if you want to work with the Institute. You heard all sorts of rumors about the Institute. I figured they, I just, figured uh, they were just a convenient boogeyman. boogeyman for anything bad that ever happened. They were real, all right. They didn't know anything about operating on the surface. Relied on their synths for everything. They had the resources I needed. And I had the expertise they needed. Turned into a permanent arrangement. Hmm. Suited me just fine. The first synths weren't all that impressive. Oh. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. Kind of yeah, so I have a feeling we're coming up to the memory of the death of Nora and the theft of Sean. It was just me against the world, and the world <sighs> coming. Hmm. That's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. 
And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. <laughs> I hear you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I Okay. Very well. B748, initiate. Nice. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these <laughs> tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override. Yeah. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. Uh -huh. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. Sweet. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. Vault computers. Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. Frozen. But they needed me. Frozen. Sure they knew it. There's Nora. There's me. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No hmm. one better. But I was wow, this is like, like super animal, surreal. Soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. Uh, At least no. I know those institute bastards will <coughs> soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never liked, never liked to. you. Yeah. Yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Down the hall near the end. I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. Huh. But we had our orders. <laughs> Guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Too bad he left right. alive the one person he shouldn't have. Hmm. <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. I was now the Institute's main oh, operator shit. in the Commonwealth. They needed something done. Damn it. They came to me. I found it wasn't usual for members. anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission. So ah, stop it. I can't bend was We were grabbing from uh, Of course. Neither did they. Not really. I need to relive this. I think it's good. It'd be good. Good refresher in the mind of my character here. Open it. No. No. Man, that's like up close and personal to see this. messed up. That's messed up.
I'm gonna get all frozen. Cryo free. All oh, right. Fair play. <laughs> now this memory, I'm com I'm con I'm not con concerned, but interested in. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems mm -hmm. obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Hmm. Another loose end tied up. I don't know. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But okay. one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up mm, kind of like messed up. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Mm -hmm. There's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. <clears throat> It'd be back to normal business before too long. Pardon me. Welcome to the Matrix. One of our scientists has left the institute. Take the red pill or the blue pill. He's gone rogue. Names Dr. Brian Virgil. Uh oh. He's hiding somewhere in the glow. Hello. Here's his files. Nice. Some heads are going to roll for this. Capture and return. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. Okay. Bioscience boys. Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Oh dear. Did he just bamf away? Okay. Let's say that's weird. X six eighty eight. Ready to relay with Sean. What? I hope I see you again soon. What? Dude. Teleportation. Dude, that's super badass. As soon as you're ready. Uh oh, that's fair play, I guess. Nice, man. We're uh We're gonna get back out and then <coughs> probably end it here. Cause we're out of time, so Till next time, guys. Can I pause it? Yeah. <clears throat> Till next time, guys.